So in today's video, I'll be talking about the actions that are required to be observed or followed by the mariners on the ships after a major breakdown of lifting gear takes place. So when we talk about lifting gear, we talk about derricks or cranes if they are provided on the ship and if they are being used for cargo operations and if there is a breakdown in such lifting gear, uh, what action should be taken by the mariner on the ship. Alright, so a breakdown of the derrick on the crane may involve a breakdown actually of a runner wire uh, parting under load. So runner wire is involved in taking up most of the load of the cargo and if it parts under the load and the load comes crashing onto the deck or hold inside the hold the cargo falls or a jetty it falls on the jetty or if there is a topping lift breakdown so if the a derrick has a topping lift or even a crane sometimes is uh, has a topping lift not sometimes but the the part of the crane is described as topping lift and if it breaks down or is results in the derrick boom falling or the crane jib falling down uh, that is considered as a breakdown of the cargo and then uh, as soon as a breakdown is reported make sure that your cargo work is stopped immediately that goes without saying because uh, uh, you have to make sure that everybody is safe uh, and uh, you have to assess the damage so as soon as you observe a, a, a breakdown make sure that you stop all the cargo work going on uh, all unnecessary personnel should be removed from that place uh, call for a crew muster as well as a stevedore muster with their foreman to make sure all persons are accounted for nobody uh, was hurt and everybody is safe that is the priority of course so make sure you do it first then attend to any injured person immediately you must also call for shore ambulance because since you will be in port you will have access to the shore medical facilities so make sure if there are any injuries they should be reported and uh, they should be sent ashore for to the medical uh, doctors then investigate the cause of accident why there was a breakdown uh, what happened if it's not too obvious then you need to investigate it uh, take lots of photographs lots and lots of photographs and make lots of drawings and sketches to keep as evidence and don't tamper with the accident site and this is more important if somebody got hurt somebody got injured and god forbid if somebody died then make sure that you don't tamper with the site investigate the chief dog investigator who will who will come and investigate the cause of the accident so the chief dog investigator will come and investigate the cause of the accident uh, make sure that you also inform the owners charters the p and i club which is a protection and indemnity club uh, and uh, also order or requisition for parts that include wires shackles grips etc as per requirement so depending on what has been damaged make a requisition for that as well because you would need to replace that part of the crane or the derrick uh, and repair it immediately make it in working condition because you may have to uh, resume with the cargo work and the cargo operations as well make sure all hot work precautions are followed while the gear is being repaired and replaced so of course you will be a lot of welding operations will be carried out it may be carried out by the shore or it may be carried out by the ship staff but make sure that you observe all hot work procedures because you don't want another accident to now occur after the repairs are completed make sure a periodical test has to be done using the spring balance or the hydraulic balance now the spring balance or hydraulic balance if you don't know they are basically used to test the safe working load of the crane or the derrick so we assess uh, at what maximum cargo or the weight of cargo can be now lifted by these derricks or cranes uh, the rest should be done in the presence of a duly qualified competent person belonging to a workshop and authorized by the chief inspector uh, the testing will be done to the applicable proof load which is also called the dynamic testing now uh, again a competent person is comes is called from the shore because they come and they inspect the lifting gear and because uh, they need to issue a new certificate which is now attached to the chain register uh, because any type of alterations any type of damages breakdowns again then once repaired needs to be approved by a competent person from ashore who will issue a new certificate for the lifting appliance provided on the ship and that that certificate or any reports from that competent person is then included in the chain register of the book on successful completion of the test like i said before appropriate entries are made in part one and part two of the chain registers and the entries are made by the competent person and uh, sometimes a certificate is also issued and that is included along with the uh, entries so i think that's pretty much it i don't have anything else to add let me know what you think about these videos and whether i'm missing any essential parts i try to keep these videos short so as to hold your attention and becomes easy for you to just quickly get the answer and move on also helps you to listen to these videos if you are doing something else it should be like a background noise like a radio playing inside uh, at the at the background and helps you to learn at the same time all right thanks guys uh, for all your support and all your feedback really appreciate it i'll see you soon with my next video bye for now